Hey everybody, this is Rykart here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sets episode, this time featuring Vanillix, and I think that's how you say it. But I'm just going to take this time to kind of introduce what I'm going to be doing for the next few moveset videos, because if any of you have been following me on Tumblr, I posted something the other day about how I feel like a lot of the movesets that I posted during the black and white analysis videos were just really bad. And so I'm kind of going to take this opportunity to revisit a lot of 5th gen Pokemon now, and kind of make more comprehensive sets for them that I feel or that I will feel like are useful and people would be able to use successfully in battle. So with that, let's get started with this new thing by taking a look at Vanillux's typing abilities and stats. So first off, Vanillux is a mono ice type Pokemon introduced into Generation 5, but is more commonly referred to as the ice cream Pokemon. For the abilities, the first one that it gets is known as Ice Body which is an awesome ability that allows you to recover a 16th of your health every single time you are in for a turn where there is hail up. And this is really great, especially if you are using this ability paired with leftovers, because then you get an eighth of your health recovered every single turn, and that'll be amazing for Vanillix to allow it to increase its survivability and be able to last a lot longer in battle because of this ability. But for its Dreamworld ability, it is known as Weak Armor, and I actually have the English name for these things now, which is really cool because this isn't before the games were released like they were before. Um, but what Weak Armor does is it lowers your physical defense by one stage, but increases your speed by one stage every time you're hit with an attack. And this is kind of a cool ability because it is a option of boosting your speed without actually boosting your speed because your opponent is doing it for you. But in all honesty, Vanillix does get a speed boosting move in the form of Automize, so it really doesn't matter so much to have this ability when you could do the same thing but without the defense drop. So in my opinion, going with Ice Body is generally the preferred option, though there could be some pretty cool uses for weak armor in the future once this ability is explored a little bit more. But for the stats, we're going to put 71 into HP. I'm not going to put 71 into HP. Vanillix has base 71 HP, 85 defense, and 75 special defense, meaning that it actually has some pretty well-rounded defenses, very good from the special defense side, a little bit weaker on the defensive side, but the only thing that is kind of holding it back from being a defensive wall is that its HP is fairly low, or at least in the lower numbers compared to a lot of other more defensive Pokemon. So that's really the only thing holding it back, though it can run some pretty awesome defensive sets. But for its attacking stats, it actually has base 95 physical attack and base 110 special attack, meaning that this thing is actually a powerhouse from both the physical and special sides, but unfortunately it is very limited in its move pool, which is the only thing that Vanillix really has holding it back in my opinion. So um, you do mainly only have ice and normal type moves to use with Vanillix, or if you're going from the special side you do get flash cannon, signal beam now because of black and white 2 move tutors, and also a hidden power. So more often than not you are going to go with the special attack, but the physical attack is also very high and usable as well. But for its speed, it is a, a pretty good base 79, meaning that it's kind of in the average area right there, meaning that it won't be being too slow against a lot of things, and it won't be being crazily outspeeding a lot of other stuff as well. So it's pretty average, but again, you do have the move Automize to boost that. But with that, let's take a look at the first of the three sets I have for you today. So for this first set, we're going to start by giving Vanillix a timid nature to increase its speed, to lower its physical attack, and then we're going to be going with the Ice Body ability. As to the EVs, we're going to put 248 in HP to give us our highest HP number that is odd to allow us to survive more Stealth Rock switch in since we are weak to them. And then we're going to put 124 EVs into our defense and 44 into our special defense to give some added bulk to those numbers as well as 92 EVs in the speed to allow us to outspeed any Pokemon that are base 100 or lower that don't have any speed investment. I'll get more into why that is the case in a second. But the item, we're going to go with leftovers as a way to recover HP every turn, and also to work in combination with Ice Body to get that 1 8th recovery every turn when we're under hail. For the moves, the first one we're going to go with is Taunt, which is an amazing move for this Pokemon because it allows it to basically stall break opponents that would want to be using any non-attacking moves, such as status moves or heal bell aromatherapy or... Um, recovery moves and things like that and the reason why we have so much EVs so many EVs invested into speed is because with uh, this EV investment we're actually able to outspeed mill tanks that don't have any speed investment and therefore taunt them because they are often one of the more stally Pokemon you do find in the NU tier 
and then we can actually stall them out in return because we are faster than them, which is really awesome. But for the main attacking move of the set, we're actually going to go with Frost Breath because it crits every single time and can be very useful against Pokemon that may have set up a boost or two because of the fact that we will just bypass all those boosts with the critical hits and it's just really solid damage overall because it is base 40 but doubled because of a crit it will be basically around 80. Though if you do want to go for something else you could go for Ice Beam but I think Frost Breath is a lot cooler though it does have the um, 90% accuracy as opposed to 100% accuracy and I just realized I made a pun when I said that Frost Breath is cooler but anyway after that we're gonna go at Toxic as a way to add on some damage to our opponents um, obviously it increases every turn it's really great for a set like this because we can taunt things to prevent them from recovering and whatnot and then for our last move slot we're either gonna go with Hail or Protect depending on what type of team we're using if we're not using a hail team, obviously we go with hail, but if we are using a hail team, we are going to go with protect because that will allow us to not only add on some more toxic damage, but get some more ice body and leftovers recovery every time we use it. But all in all, this set is probably one of the more interesting sets that I've made for Vanillix. It's really cool, and I will show you a little bit of video footage of this later in the video at the end. And it's actually a really cool set to try out, and I really like it for this Pokemon because it's something very out of the ordinary for it, and kind of makes use of its supportive move pool as opposed to an offensive set. As for this next set, I actually have a really fun attacking set for Vanillix to use. So we're going to start by giving it a naive nature to increase its speed, but lower its special defense, and then we're going to be going with Ice Body again. As to the EVs, we're going to put 184 into our physical attack, 252 into our special attack, and 72 EVs into speed to give us pretty high physical attack, max special attack, and then enough speed to allow us to outspeed most things after we use our boosting move for the set. But for the item, the first one that we can go with and the recommended one for the set is a normal gem to allow you to use it in combination with explosion, but if you want more damage um, overall with uh, all of your attacking moves, a life orb is generally the better option. But for the moves, the first one that we're going to go with, and I mentioned it already, is Automize, which is a move that increases your speed by two stages and also lowers your weight. That part really isn't as, or that part really isn't as crucial as the plus two speed boost, but with the speed EVs and a plus two speed boost, we should be able to outspeed pretty much everything in NU that isn't scarfed, which is really nice. Um, but with that, the first move we're going to make use of is Ice Beam as our main Ice-type stab move for the set. And coming from a Pokemon with max special attack, aside from maybe using a Modest Nature or something like that, this is actually going to do some serious damage to anything. Like, no one is going to want to take an Ice Beam from this thing with max special attack. Um, I don't know why people don't use this Pokemon more often, to be honest, because it's pretty powerful. But with that, we're also going to make use of either Hidden Power Fighting or Hidden Power Ground. It's really up to you which everyone you think is useful for this set, but both give you some good coverage with ice type moves and allow you to hit a lot of things for some super effective damage because they both have really good super effective type coverage. But for the last move on the set, we're actually going to use Explosion because that is one of the moves that Vanillix gets and it does have a pretty darn high physical attack to make use of that. And with a normal gem, you should be able to KO a lot of things just with this one move. And the great thing about this set is that we don't just have to rely on Explosion for kills because you have a pretty darn high special attack as well. So it's a really cool mix set for Vanillix, and I really, really like this set a lot. But as for this last set, we're going to start by giving Vanillix a Modest Nature to increase its special attack but lower its physical attack because this set is going to be fully special as opposed to the previous one. And for the ability, we're going to go with Ice Body again. For the EVs, though, we're going to put 252 in a special attack to give us our max special attack, 4 for special defense, and 252 EVs into our speed to give us our highest speed possible with the modest nature. And for the item, we could either go with a Life Orb or an Expert Belt, because when you use a Life Orb, you do have that recoil, and Vanillix does take added Stealth Rock damage being an Ice type, so Expert Belt could be another option because it does increase the power of any super effective attack that you use. But for the moves, again, we're going to go with Automize as a way to boost our speed because it's really great for this Pokemon because it doesn't have the highest speed to normally outspeed a lot of other Pokemon. So with that plus two boost, we should be essentially faster than most other things, which is really nice. But with that, again, we're going to go with Ice Beam as our main Ice-type attacking move. 
no real reason to go with anything else unless you want to be a little bit dangerous and go with Blizzard. But another really awesome thing about Vanillix is that it actually got Signal Beam in its uh, black and white two move or as a black and white two move tutor move, which is awesome for this Pokemon because it really didn't have a lot of type coverage before. And Signal Beam is great because it allows you to hit the uh, Psychic and Dark types for some super effective damage. Mainly though, I'm more concerned with the Psychic types because of how Grumpig is normally a really solid counter to um, Vanillix because it doesn't have normal type coverage and Grumpig does have thick fat. So now you actually have something to hit it for some super effective damage, which is really nice. But also, again, for our last move slot, we could go with either Hidden Power Fighting or Hidden Power Ground depending on your type coverage, and it is important to also note that a Pokemon like Miltank does have thick fat, so packing Hidden Power Fighting could be a really great option to allow you to do some massive damage to that Pokemon. Um, but also Hidden Power Ground does have its uses, and has some great type coverage with Ice Beam and Signal Beam as well. So it's whichever one you want to go with. But with that, let's actually go into some video footage, because I'm going to start making this a regular thing now even though it takes a little bit more longer to get the footage than to just kind of end the video right here. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to start this clip off by me bringing in my Vanillix to try and taunt the Corsola. Unfortunately my opponent goes out in the Grumpig, but I'm able to taunt that instead, which is really nice. Set up some toxic damage, and then I'm able to set up my Hail finally to start recovering a bunch of HP every turn. Now unfortunately he gets a special defense drop here, and that actually comes into play a little bit later in this clip. But um, I missed my Frost Breath, but now I'm able to actually taunt this Banette before Banette's able to taunt me. And I just go for another Toxic, but he switches out into Grumpig. But because Hale is canceling out the leftovers, he's just taking damage every single turn from Toxic. And that whole time I was actually gaining a ton of HP back because of Ice Body and Leftovers working together. But unfortunately at the end here, I realized that I'm not going to be able to live this war because of that special defense drop. So I actually had to switch out at the end, but this kind of proves the concept on how this set works. And I want to show this one more so than the other two because it's a little bit less straightforward as the other two are just like set up and then do damage. But also to prove a point that I made earlier, Grumpig is a very common Pokemon to be brought in on Vanillix. And as you can see, as soon as I went into Vanillix, the Grumpig was brought out. But because Vanillix can now get Signal Beam, it can actually handle that Pokemon. But anyways, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy my new start of analyzing the black and white Pokemon, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, but as always, take care and goodbye, and thank you for watching again.